Stickers! Hello, interwebs, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2. My name's Skinny Minnie. And I'm Pharaoh. <laughs> was it delayed? It was. I, had to, I was, like, taking a breath in. I'm like, oh, shoot! <laughs> <laughs> uh, last episode, we did some investigating and found out that uh, the normalium was inside the teapot. So I guess now it's ready, and we're going to go talk to everybody? Um... Why is my... That is weird. Hmm. Um, every time I, like, go up, the fountain, like, moves. It's... You'll, you'll see in the episode. It's weird. Anyway. Uh, okay. can we talk to the officer? Which one? Oh, the... Standing on the fountain. The one saluting? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> We've recovered a victim's body. Forensics are currently performing the autopsy. Oh my god, and now Bench is back. You know, if you want, you can do you can take over Edgeworth. Um okay. if you if you feel like doing stuff. Sure. Yeah. And what of the investigation of the fountain? Well, the fountain is completely clear. You could cleanse both your heart and soul with it. Including your anus. Alright. A body was floating in this fountain just a moment ago, though. That's weird. Okay, um... I get... Do we talk to Sebastian now? Hold on. Oh, I don't have any logic. Uh... Sebastian! Mr. DeBest, you're getting a bit in my way if you stand here. Huh! I am not going to move! Just do what you can over there! Don't say that! It's probably the best if you just stand over there! The best, you say? Okay, I will stand over there. So anything is fine as long as you add the best to it. And he's still he's not still moving. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. So we examined the tea set already. Do we talk to Kate again? Give it a we shot. We don't have any. Yeah, let's talk to her again. Wait. Oops, I talked her. Oh, wait. Is there okay, anything? Sorry. You're fine. Um... No, stop. I talked to Kate. Talk. Oh, present. Uh, sketch of beauties. Oh yeah, we gotta present the sketch. To oh wait a minute. No, we may need to go to Delicia, Delicia, and and um and and show that picture to her because she's pulling something out. Yeah, we haven't even talked to her period yet. Let's try that. Nope. Oh. Oi! How's the investigation coming along? Have you found anything? Oi! Uh, not quite, actually. We haven't found any clues yet. You're doing it all wrong! Hoi is when you use... <laughs> She's Temmy. She's <laughs> a really British Temmy. Exactly. Uh, Hoi is only used when you're showing someone something. Also, yesy is to confirm and is also a greeting. Yep, yep, yep is, or eep. Oh, eep is used when you're afraid. Fi is when you don't like something. Oi is when you're calling someone. Hmm, I see. I didn't know it was that deep. Oi, oi, Mr. Edgeworth, did you catch all that? Okay, be more serious. Yesy. <laughs> Oh, that was cute. <laughs> okay, so I have a feeling right. we're supposed to do something besides talking to people to... It's like they're all stuck in, like, in this little phase right now until we have to do something, I assume. I Yeah, but I'm like, what the heck do we do? Right. Uh, should we show Kay the photograph? Kay? No, it's Katie. Oh, Katie. Um, I uh, guess. Katie. Katie. Look at this photograph! Oh, dang it, the music didn't stop. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> My, is this me? Oh, do you want to take over for Edgeworth? Yeah, I, I, gotta, I gotta remember anytime you're doing... Okay. Yes, it's a sketch done by our pseudo artist over there. This sketch is really well done. 
Are you giving it to me as a commemorative com commemoration gift? No. For the time being, this is a valuable piece of evidence. I see. Too bad. I've gotten such a response from the museum curator. That man has some unexpected talent. Oh. No. Hmm. Uh, uh... Why does she have two? I'm gonna present the teapot. Uh... Okay. I don't know! Oh, ooh, she got a backless. That's a cute dress, though. I mean... Cosplay? <laughs> uh... A whole lot about the case. Oh. Ding! Ah! Uh, I'm so... Oh, they're singing together! I'm so, so sorry! Oh. Why is Katie singing along with her? <laughs> okay, that <laughs> so, didn't really... So confused. I very um okay sorry I'm thinking so uh, you don't need to talk to let's talk to Courtney and see if she says anything I feel that your your conduct thus far has clearly been out of line I will make sure to bring this matter up to the PIC oh I'm getting there do whatever you want but in return, we're going to be doing whatever we want as well. If I remember correctly, you're the little Miss Great Thief. I will have to report your misconduct to the PIC as well, young lady. Sure, since it will only serve to increase my fame as the Great Thief. <sighs> it seems even George Courtney is unable to get a handle on Kay. For sure. Um, we have no logic. We have or oh. Oh, we have to deduce something. Ooh, okay. So That's we, what it is, okay. So we gotta look at something, though. Do we have to examine the fountain? We can try that. Okay, yeah. Ugh! NG, oh my god. It appears the body has already been recovered by the police. Why was the body of the victim from 18 years ago float found floating in the fountain? I mean, wouldn't the body have been all goopy after 18 years? I don't know if I would call it goopy. It certainly would... <laughs> That's a funny him saying the word goopy. It certainly would have required a special method to preserve the body. Yeah, I wonder if such a method exists. Hey, Mr. Forensic Guy! Any new information? Yes! Nomalium and Fatalium had been detected in the fountain water. They must have flowed through the stream from the Autumn Palace to the fountain. Aside from the chemicals, we also find high levels of sugar. We're working hard on investigating it. Sugar in the fountain water? What could have caused that? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. We did need to <coughs> debate it. Sorry. No, you're good. This is Edgeworth. It's Gumshoe, sir! Does something happen? Actually, right now all the investigators but me have left the Winter Palace. So I can finally tell you what we found. It's not good for a detective to be leaking out information about the investigation. But... His resourcefulness has saved me many times these past few days. Oh. All, <laughs> all the sculptures in the Winter Palace have melted. There's still some liquid left in the cases, but there's less in a Gemini case than there is in a Taurus case. There's still liquid in the glass cases. But yes, sir. We just investigated a light blue liquid a moment ago. We only detected sugar in a Taurus case, but for some reason, in a Gemini case, we detected three different substances. What? Three substances? They cons consisted of sugar, salt, and blood. <gasps> Blood. Blood and salt were detected in a Gemini case. I wonder whose blood it could have been. I've asked forensics to look into it, sir. Right. I leave it to you, detective. Well, that reminds me. The forensics investiga investigating their fountain patio contacted me. It seems the sugar found in the fountain matches that we found in the light blue liquid. Oh? That sounds like valuable information. Hmm. Okay. 
Is that all the new information you have for me? Oh, now that you mention it, we found a rainbow light device in there too. The device was used to disguise the Autumn Palace. Wait, who said that part right now? In green. Edward? Okay, never mind. It's, uh, it seems the device that was used in the IF7 incident is also connected to this one. I should listen to what Delicia, or Delicia has to say about that. I have to go back to investigating now, sir. When we get when we get the results of the blood test, I'll let you know right away. Yes, uh, thank you, thank you, detective. I think I know whose blood it is. Was that Gummy calling? That sure was a long call. <laughs> but thanks to him, we now have an important piece of information. Hmm? In order to break Miss Hall's alibi, I'll need to talk to everyone involved in the IS sudden incident. <gasps> Dun 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 dun. Okay, all right. Let's talk to Delicia. Okay. Thank you for a little uh, impromptu talk there. I love I love that. Like that's that's I think that's one of my favorite sound bits of this of this series because it's like it's like time to get down to business and start investigating because somebody's hiding something. I thought you were trying to do like a Law and Order CSI thing. I guess it fits. Dun dun. And no criminal. Oh wait, I did that before. So, okay, sorry. Good. Oh, uh, what you did, bum bum. <laughs> Del Delisha, would you be willing to aid in the investigation? Yes, sir. Of course. Anything for Miley and Cafe. I'll listen to whatever you have to say. I was wondering if you could stop calling me Miley first off. And stop calling me Cafe. Out of the question. I can't just change the name I've already decided on. Ugh. Even if we ask her, she won't listen to what we have to say at all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, the decorations, please. Do you know anything about the decorations that are used in the muse museum? Specifically, the fluorescent cloths and the special device called the rainbow light device. Uh, Yesy, of course I do. Because they are presents that I gave to Kate. Katie. <laughs> As an apology for breaking the rules 18 years ago, I gave her four new rock salt lamps and the four, and the four fluorescent cloths I used in the contest. Wow, that does sound nice. Fluorescent cloths and rock salt lamps? <laughs> Seems like only us girls can understand how wonderful they are. That's a cruel thing to say, Miss Delicious. I like them too, you know. Where'd you come from? I don't know. <laughs> Fie! That was back when Ray Ray was still a cute little boy. Back when Mr. Shields was a cute little boy? Hmm. I can't even imagine it. Wow, he's right there, but okay. <laughs> Are they the same decorations you saw 18 years ago? Probably. The rock salt lamp, the cloth, and the rainbow light device? They all seem the same. Four fluorescent cloths were used in the Autumn Palace, but I have the feeling I saw one more of the same cloth. <laughs> Let's show Delisha uh, Deli and have and have her confirm my suspicions. Oh, okay, so we gotta present the fluorescent cloth then. See, Here you go! Wasn't, wasn't there a dirty rag in your bag that looks similar to this? Fine! I'm not gonna give you any information as to someone who calls it a dirty rag! Then, would it be better if I called it a washcloth? Fine! Wrong again! It's a fluorescent cloth! Uh, oopsie. That was supposed to be a secret. Please tell me all you know about the fluorescent cloth. Okay, I guess fluorescent cloth. Please tell me the reason why you hid this cloth. Oh, I guess I have no choice now, since the cat's out of the bag. I found this cloth floating in the fountain, and right after that, I was called into the Autumn Palace. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <sighs> 
episode. I'm sorry, are we boring you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, well, you can get the f out of my video then. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> so that's the moment Larry captured in his, his so called sketch of beauties. At first, I thought one of the fluorescent cloths I'd given Katie had washed away. But didn't you only give her four fluorescent, fluorescent cloths at the, uh, as a present? Oh crap. That's not the end of the sentence. <laughs> oh, that, I, I, no, I literally just pushed it. What, what was the ending? Oh, in the, in the museum? Of course it is. Well, you said it, so let's continue. Alright. There were four fluorescent cloths covering the sculptures in the Autumn Palace, right? So that's when I realized that this was the cloth that went missing 18 years ago. Huh. The poison gas broke out because someone had stolen my Megaton Toxin X. <clears throat> so I thought the fluorescent cloths had also been used for the crime. I was afraid I'd be suspected, so I didn't say anything about it to anyone. I see. But I sure feel a lot better after talking about it. Stress isn't good for your figure, after all. So is eating raw dough or cream in there. No, no, that's okay, that's okay. Eighteen years ago, the cloth that was wrapped around the body went missing. Who would have thought it would turn up in a fountain along with the body? Hmm. Okay, you setting off the poison gas! I'd like to ask you something, since you're a pharmacist. Exactly how would one gain the knowledge required to set off poison gas? Oh, that's basic knowledge for any pharmacist acquainted with Megatoxin X. It even says on the warning label, Danger, do not mix with Normalium. Then, is there another way for someone who isn't a pharmacist to obtain that information? Hmm, well... It might be possible if they've seen the angel's recipe. <gasps> oh. The recipe book that was the grand prize of the contest 18 years ago. Since it also contains the recipe to prepare Megatoxin X. Why though? Yeah. Oh, you know why? Hmm. I think I know why. Because Katie has been preparing tea for Mr. Masters. Right. And so, remember the the cure for that, his condition, is in the angel's recipe book. Right. So what if she was putting the mega, what if she's putting the normalium in the tea because that was part of the recipe? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. We'll see. Let's continue. Does this mean that you you've also seen the contents of the angel's recipe? Yes, he. That's a given, of course. The pharmaceutical company I work for is the Master Group. It's the company that makes the Cold Killer X medicine. <laughs> cold Killer X? Cold medicine that promises to kill cold good. After Jeffy got declared guilty, the company took back the recipe book. However, only a small group of elite pharmacists have been allowed to see it through. See it though. See it though. So this woman is also a part of that small group of elite pharmacists. Interesting. Okay. So do we... Oops. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna look at the liquid analysis. Traces of salt, sugar, blood detected. The sugar matches the light blue liquid found in Dover's room 18 years ago. Uh, the sugar found in the fountain also appears to be the same composition. Okay. Huh. Alright. Uh... I think... Oh, we got logic, don't we? Contained in the book. Okay, then I think we're gonna have to find other logic to piece together to prove her wrong. So, um, sounds good. Do we need to present what we found to Delisha? De Delisha? I'm gonna try it. Where would where, you want to present? I'm gonna present the liquid analysis real quick. Okay. Oi! That thing you've got there is rather cute. Oh, it's not it. But the color is rather unappealing. Now, if I were to cut it with a fresh cream. <laughs> S 
stop it! Sketch of beauties. Um, no. Okay. I wonder... Okay, so we don't do that. Um... I guess let's talk to Kate. Katie. Girl! <laughs> oh, wait. Uh... What are we presenting to her? Oh, shoot. Yeah, you're right. Dang it, we can't do anything yet! Okay, let me see. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Oh, Edgeworth said we gotta talk to everybody involved. Oh! 18 years ago, right? Yes. It, so far, that's only Delicia. Because Larry wasn't there, obviously. And Katie was there. Oh, Ray! <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> hey! So, about the two cases. Oh, I can take over for Edgeworth if you want. Okay. This case seems to have a lot in common with the case 18 years ago. Oh, crap. Hold on. I, I remember how you talked to Ray earlier. Um, mm -hmm. now I'm doing that, so I gotta see. Oh. There you go. Da, 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 so, da. Are you ready? Oh, about the two cases? Yeah. Okay. I agree. The melted ice in the Winter Palace and the body of the victim from 18 years ago. I wonder why nobody ever noticed the body was missing after all this time. Well, the only family Mr. Dover had was his uh, young son. His son. And Mr. Mr. Gasavia's son, who attended the same elementary school. Oh. After, after the case, they both went missing. What? And they haven't been found yet? I haven't heard any news about Mr. Gasavia's son being found. Oh, well, that's so sad. Uh, but as for Mr. Dover's son, he was found and his inheritance was delivered to him. Oh. And because of that, Mr. Dover never had a proper fu funeral. They, uh, that way, um, that, that way they were able to make it look like the body had been in police custody. The autopsy report had also been forged, so nobody but the defense ever found out. Von Karma, you would go that far! God! Okay, so, his, they had sons, and they disappeared after that, and then, so they found one of them. So they found Doverson, but they don't know where Gustavia's other one is, son is. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's crazy. All right, what about Catherine? Mr. Shields, could you tell me what kind of person Miss Hall is? Hmm? Miles, don't tell me. You're also interested in Katie. Ugh, no. Well, all joking aside, all Uncle Ray can say is, the Kate I know is a truly an admirable woman. For 18 years, she has always wanted to remain here and wait for Master's return. However, she was driven out of the ma mansion by Master's relatives. What? She she was driven out of the mansion? Well, that's because Kate isn't related by blood to Mr. Master. With no family and her job taken from her, she could only live on with that song and dance that Mr. Master had taught her. Well, she's not retired as a world-famous actress, though. Why did she retire? Because she had already saved up enough money to buy this mansion. It seems she even got back the Angel's Recipe that had been taken by the Master Group. There it is. Logic! This mansion, where she lived with Mr. Master, had been everything to her. She probably just wanted to take back everything that she lost. It seems that Mr. Shields sympathizes with this hall. But you could also say that her actions have taken away everything Mr. Master had. Thank you! Okay, um... Uh... You know what, we'll save it for next time. <coughs> In the next episode, Bless we you. will talk to... Yeah, it was a cough. But... Oh, cough. <laughs> well, well, regardless. Okay. Thank you, though. In the next episode, we will talk to K, T, and... <laughs> And finally figure out what's going on. Because I th I think my theories are forming. So, and it, thanks. Oh, my God. Why do I feel so crazy? Um, Sugar. Thank you, guys. So, I didn't have any. Then, I don't know. 
Thank you guys so very much for watching, and if no one's told you that they love you today, we do. Have a great day, everybody.